Let's talk about the end of this year with Super Smash Bros. Ultima, the Mario 3D All-Stars Collection, and a whole lot more. What's happening, my block buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Block Content. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. Today, we get to talk about Nintendo and the end of this year, because yes, it's already September. We're nearing essentially the end of this year in terms of software release for Nintendo Switch, and it's been a pretty crazy, insane year. And that totally means that we have to look back at what happened, but also at what all the leaks that we're leading up to right now were actually right about. Because, of course, one of the biggest leaks that had happened this year and actually very early within this year was that supposedly there was some sort of compilation coming of Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and potentially two of the Super Mario Galaxy games. And with that, there was other information as well, like a brand new Paper Mario game that was sort of a return to form. Well, both those things turned out to be right, and there was even talk about a Metroid game alongside that as well, that at the moment of recording, still has not been revealed. Of course, there were also multiple reports about the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate newcomer and who it could be. I mean, until the day of today, we are still debating who that next character will be. Of course, we had Byleth as the ender of that first Fighter's Pass, which was incredible in its own right, and then with Byleth ending it off, it gave a lot of people a different taste in their mouth, which was very interesting for a third-party pass to end on a first-party character and a fire em another Fire Emblem fighter, no less, right? So then moving on, to the next Fighters Pass and actually having a character from ARMS, so another first party franchise, open that up was also a very interesting decision that we're infinitely curious about what will it signal? What does it say about what is coming to that Fighters Pass next? So I really wanted to take the time to talk all about that with you guys. And of course, I've also been answering many of you guys' questions about Smash Brothers Ultimate and new fighters in our show Question Blocked, where I answer your questions. What do I think of your favorite game? How do you start making YouTube content? Well, whatever you can think of. Send your question through to blockedcontentmail at gmail.com and I will answer your question live on the show in our next Question Blocked episode. And yes, guys, I have very good news. We have chosen our partner for this awesome Blocked Content Let's Play show. So you guys will find out who this person is and what the show will be all about. We are recording the very first episode in a matter of days. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's just get into the content of today. And it's infinitely interesting to me to think about what this year represents for Nintendo. There's a lot of companies like Xbox, like Microsoft, and of course Sony's PlayStation that are right now releasing or in the middle of releasing these brand new consoles, right? The Xbox Series X, and then we have the PlayStation 5. And with Nintendo, of course, the Switch is essentially, as Nintendo puts it themselves, in the middle of its life cycle, which means there's a lot more Switch to come in the years to come. And there's probably a lot more software that has to sell this console for people, right? I mean, where is the Breath of the Wild 2? Where is Metroid Prime 4 at this moment? Well, there has been no word of a Nintendo Direct aside from partner showcases, which we had one of yesterday, and of course also the Mario 35th Anniversary Direct, which dropped out of nowhere. Well, these things do happen. It's been such a long time since we got that big Nintendo Direct that essentially just reveals all that information, right? Um, it's been a very long time since we've seen more information on certain games that we've been waiting for for the longest time. Think about games like Bayonetta 3 and even the franchises that we've not heard about for a long time. I mean, Star Fox is an easy one, but just think about other forgotten franchises like the Earthbound or Mother franchises and stuff like F-Zero. What is going to happen within these things? Do we find out this year? Is there something still coming on the horizon? Or is essentially all that we're getting this year still the Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity game, which, well, does look really incredible. It's another Musu like big one against 1000 game, and it looks incredible. I do absolutely feel like they need another system seller this year, especially near the November or the December dates, right? To actually really sell us on the fact that this year we really need to own a Nintendo Switch. So if we look at the past leaks that have happened in this year, that could mean there is still a Metroid game on the way, and it won't 
be Metroid Prime 4, and they were even looking for a lead producer for that game not too long ago, so it seems like development on that is still at least one whole year away. So think about the fact that we are still to be getting a Metroid game that could look a little bit more like Samus Returns, right? The kind of remake or the return of Samus. So it is a 2.5 kind of game. 2.5D side-scroller that has more exploration than action and no first-person segments, and of course the Paper Mario game we already had, right? The Origami King has come out, it actually got pretty great reviews, I like the game a lot myself, it is really funny, but what is on the horizon for some other franchises? And more notably, I think that one question I want answered is, one, what is that Smash Brothers newcomer gonna be, you know, and when is it coming? But also, what's gonna happen with the mainline Mario franchise? Of course, a huge deal is that we are now able to play Super Mario 64 in HD, and of course, Super Mario Sunshine in that wide screen and HD, and then Super Mario Galaxy at 60 frames per second, and also, of course, running beautifully on the Nintendo Switch in handheld as well. But what's gonna happen to that franchise on its own? We are, of course, getting Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, but that is next year. Is there any word on an Odyssey sequel? Are we getting still like an Odyssey DLC pack? It is totally baffling to me that we haven't gotten anything of that sort for the foreseeable future. We don't know what's going to happen with that, and Odyssey seemed like such a perfect game to kind of build upon, and it felt like they were doing that with some DLC. It ended up not really materializing in the way that a lot of people had hoped, and a lot of people have thought about this. So, yeah, I'm generally curious what Nintendo has in store for the end of this year. It does really feel like with Pikmin 3 Deluxe, and with games like Age of Calamity, they have some stuff for us left in store, but but what is not announced at this point is what I really want to know. And is there a Nintendo Direct coming? Well, if we have to look at the leaks and all the speculation that we've done over the past couple of months, which of course is why blocked content is the way it is right now, it totally means that we are going to be getting more, right? The Super Mario 3D All-Stars game turn out to be real. And then of course, that Paper Mario game returning to form was also, in a lot of senses, true. So looking at that and kind of predicting where the future will go, it would at least seem like this year we are still in for another Nintendo Direct because we are still in for some other games. Now they could be shadow dropped on Twitter and on YouTube out of nowhere, but I do feel like Nintendo really needs a big win right now. They really, especially when I look up the reviews, of this Super Mario 3D All-Stars game, it is just barely enough to make it for a lot of people because of course the way that the ports are handled isn't the best, you know, there isn't any remastering going on and even in terms of the camera, nothing has been optimized other than them looking a little bit better, some textures for Super Mario 64 and some light menu stuff and even a very bare bones menu at that so I really feel like that franchise deserves a lot more I feel like as a whole Nintendo deserves a win this year so I really would want to see them come out with either a big huge Nintendo Direct that doesn't even focus on this year but focuses on 2021 I mean we could really use something like that so I would be very curious to find out what you guys' thoughts are on exactly that do you think that there is still a Nintendo Direct coming and what kind of news are you itching for right now now. So I'd love to hear what you guys think of this. If you comment down below, that could actually be featured and read out loud in our next video. And today's comment question is, do you think another Direct is coming? And as for a previous comment question winner, our answer comes to us from our user, Thomas Palazzolo, saying, I always thought Professor Layton would make a good, thoughtful character, where you genuinely are meant to use him for mind games. I'd give him specialized dodges and feints so he could walk towards you in a considering pose, and if struck rather than countering, he'd leave you momentarily stunned and step behind you, leaving you open to counterattack. Fighting-wise, well, he is a trained fencer, but I wonder if he'll have a sword or the length of pipe he used in the future film. I can also see his dramatic gestures working as attacks as well, and I'd love to see him imagining puzzles for some attacks, big cartoon thought bubbles appearing and the puzzle inside striking his opponent in some way. 
For his final smash, I'd use the slot machine gun from the Unwound Future or the runaway Ferris wheel from Mysterious Village. I also like the idea of him having a gadget building mechanic where players can assemble useful contraptions to temporarily buff his attacks or recovery. So Thomas, thank you so much for thinking about this character in that sort of a crazy unique way. Thank you so much. I always love it when you guys are detailing your own movesets for characters or trailers or announcements. I I really envy you guys' creativity within that. So send them down in the comments below. I will detail them in the next comment question winner as well. So thank you so much for sending in your comment. These are always so much fun to read through. And of course, a huge shout out to our latest Patreon supporters. It is a very uncertain year for a lot of people and also for content creators such as myself. So to hear and to see that people are supporting the channel and even donating to this channel every single month, it just warms my heart and it makes me able to make these videos on sort of a daily or bi-daily basis. So thank you so much. If you are one of those people that really loves blocked content and wants to support me and this channel and the new shows that are coming, please go to patreon.com slash blocked content because I'll take care of you. And remember, if you're not yet a member of the blocked content family yet, Hit subscribe now, smash that like button, and ring the bell for notifications, and all the news and fun you care about will be delivered on the daily to you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you around the corner, where there's always more blocked content. See ya!